Sam Ubator from Bridgeview, Illinois, and this is a treestuff.com review of the Buckingham Porter Wrap. This is the larger version. As you can see, it's got some wear and tear on it. That's from leaving a, a whoopee on it, and it starts to get corroded. So my advice to you, if you ever get Porter Wrap, take the, the sling off before putting it away in storage. Make sure that you hang out to dry. Besides that though, you can see this is really old, it's used a lot, and it's still in great shape. Uh, the color doesn't look that great, but this works just as good as it did on the first day. It's got a little bit of wear and tear right here from using three strands on this, but it's barely, barely noticeable. I would not say that this is uh, dangerous to use anymore, um, but I mean, it just, it still works perfectly fine. There's uh, nothing wrong with using this. So this is a great tool. If you're looking to get something for the long run, it's going to last you your whole entire lifetime. I'd say go with this. If you get the smaller one, it's more compact, but you can only use smaller ropes with it. This one's open to using much bigger ropes for either small or large removals. Uh, this is a great tool, but you have to be careful with how you use it, especially your groundsman. If you're in the tree and your grounds person does not know how to use this, uh, it's going to be trouble. So make sure you teach and instruct whoever is using this on the ground what a full wrap is, what a wrap and a half, two wraps, so on and so forth, uh, before you get in the tree. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems once you get up there. Um, so this is just something I'd really recommend. This is an essential to rigging. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps you out.